In this video I'm going to look at using this valve spring compressor kit for removing the valve springs on Porsche 996 cylinder head. This is quite a, a comprehensive kit. What we have in here are the two supports which bolt onto the ends of the head and are used to support the main bar which is this bar along here. This is then used along with this lever and this piece here to actually push down onto the top of the valve so this will then um, release the, the retainers so that the valve spring can be removed. There's also a magnetic tool here for removing the, the collets from the top of the valve and there's also air adapters, there's an adapter here with two different threads on it which has a, a connector here which can go on to different fittings here to go on to airlines. So, so the engine can be put at top dead centre and you can connect it to an airline and then you can pressurise the cylinder so that that will keep the valves closed so that you don't have to remove the head to remove the um, to get the valve springs off so that you can so that you can change um, the springs if required or the retainers or the oil seals on top of the valves more commonly. Um, also in this kit are a couple of pairs of pliers which are for removing the, the oil seals. Um, there's also an adapter here which as I understand it is to go for a, a diesel injector. There's another one here which has got a looks like a Schrader valve on the end of it so that you can attach um, something to pressurize the cylinder and then and then keep it pressurized. There are a few other bits in here which I'm not I must admit I'm not sure what these are. Um, there are adapters of various different sizes which screw into this bar here. <clears throat> so this is threaded on one end which screws into these adapters. Um, but say so I'm not not entirely sure what that is for. So um, don't know on that one. I'll see if I can find some instructions and I'll update the video with more information if I find it. There's also then um, a collection of bolts, washers, and again some more in here, and also some pins. Um, so these these pins are just used to to attach the the bar onto the lever up there. So it's quite a comprehensive kit. It was only forty pounds delivered. Um, I had to use this because my standard spring compressor doesn't have a, a long enough reach on it to reach down into the heads to remove the valves. So I'll get the head on the bench and then I'll get this bolter onto the head and I'll show it removing the valve springs. Now I've got these two supports bolted on opposite ends of the cylinder head. Um, I've mounted on the inner bolt holes um, at each end. I've done them as far away as possible so that I can access all of them at the same time so I can do all of the valves in one go. There's no need to bolt these down really tightly because all of the force is going to be pulling up on these, so pulling up against the bolts. There's not a huge amount of force on them anyway. So it's just a question of, um, of just bolting them down so that they won't move. So I put them down, put the bolt in there. I've removed the first of the valves so I can show you what is involved. So basically um, what we're doing is compressing on this outer section here on the retainer and when that's pushed down it'll release these two halves of the of the collet which will be removed and then with those removed the valve can then slide out downwards and the retainer and the spring and there's also a, what looks like a, a washer it's basically the, a steel base for the spring can be removed it's important to keep all of these parts together they need to go back in the same order so you want to keep the same valves with the same springs and put them back in the same hole. So this is the bar we're going to use. I've set this up so it's on the on the middle hole on this side. It wants to be set up so that this is pushing straight down onto the top of the valve and then to use the tool just place this in here, line it up on the top of the valve and then as I push this down it's going to try to push the push the valve down so I've just lifted this off slightly so I can get my hand underneath to support it. Hear that click that was as the as the valve is released upwards. So I'm doing this with the with the head off the car. It is possible to do it with the head on the car as well in which case you would remove the spark plug 
and use compressed air to, to hold the valves closed. So now with this removed, I can use this magnet to extract the, the collets. So there's the first one out. Let's take the second one out. Okay, so that's the second half of the collet. So that's the tool can now be released from the spring. So there is the, the spring and the retainer and the valve itself will just push out through the bottom. I'm not actually going to push it out right now. I'm going to remove the the other valves the other retainers first. So again, here are the two halves of the collet. So I'm just going to keep those together, keep them with the with the spring. And for now, I'm just going to to rest them back on top of the valve because, as I say, I will be bagging these up and marking them for inlet and exhaust. These are the uh, these are for the exhaust side. So for now, I'll just drop that back in here so they know where it is. So I'll just continue to remove the rest of these in the same way and, uh, and then I'll get on to bagging up the parts. Okay, that's it. So that's the, the six valves ready to come out. So I'm just going to get some small plastic bags and label them up. So this tool is really super easy to use. Um, this is obviously done on the bench, but in theory it can relatively easily be done in the vehicle. Um, so yeah, no problem at all in, in recommending this. So I'm now going to spin this head around and I shall repeat for the valves on, on the other side. Um, but before I do that, I'm, I'm going to bag these up. So there, there you go, very easy to use, very quick and simple.